Hey YouTube, this is Landing with Snake River Canine. We've got another excellent video here of our amazing boy, Finn. Finn is one of our older puppies in our advanced training program. He's done so awesome in our program and he's matured into such a wonderful, wonderful puppy. As you'll see here in his video, he's got an amazing temperament. He's so beautiful and he's just done really, really well in our training program. So we're excited to show him off in this video. So stay tuned to check him out. All right guys, so to start out our video, we've got Finn here in the car with one of his handlers. You can see that he handles car rides very, very well. He is headed out on an outing today. We wanted to show off how he does in public and how he does in new situations. So Finn is going to a store that he has never been to before. And you can see that he's wearing his in training vest. I wanna make a quick note about the vest that we do have the training vest on him in this situation because we want people to know that even though this is a dog friendly store, we want people to know that he is in training. We want people to be able to accept if we ask them to maybe not pet him at certain times or to be able to be respectful of his boundaries so that this training session goes well for him. So we feel like it's important for us to identify when our puppies are in training. We do not, however, promote people taking dogs into stores that do not allow dogs with a training vest if they're not fully trained or in the training process for service or therapy work. Now that being said, Finn has the qualities and characteristics that would work for a service or therapy dog. So that's one reason that we've kind of geared his training towards that. He has a really wonderful calm demeanor. He's very sweet. He's good with meeting new people. He's good in new environments. Um, you can see him here. This is all completely new to him. And you can see that every once in a while he has some hesitation. Part of that is that he knows the camera person and sometimes he actually wants to go over and say hi to the camera person. But aside from that, you can see that his demeanor is really comfortable in this new environment. That's one thing that makes him such an awesome puppy. He just is an easygoing, go with the flow type of a puppy. We've really, really liked his personality. He has matured into such a wonderful puppy. We've been so blessed to be able to work with him for an extra amount of time. Now you can see here, Finn is in tune with his handler. He's behaving well, he's listening well, he's not barking, he's not shying away from people or the shopping cart or different things. And that just shows his all around excellent personality. Now Finn is a lower energy puppy and so he has pretty low exercise requirements. That's one thing that is also nice about him. He's just an easy puppy to be around. You can see that he is happy to walk and then sit and wait for his handler to look at different things and do what she needs to do in the store. Now one thing that you will see in the video a little bit but I wanted to highlight here is that Finn is very respectful when he meets new people. Finn has been around a few people who have some dog anxiety and his demeanor totally calms them down and makes it so that they feel very comfortable with him. He's not the kind of dog to be overly excited when he meets people or to invade your space. He's very respectful. He's a very sweet gentleman when he meets new people. And so that's one thing that we have really, really liked about him. Now here Finn is at a park, and this is a park that he's visited once before, but that's been about it, so it's kind of a new situation. You'll see him get to meet some new people. Um, here in a little bit, you'll get to see him meet some dogs, but you can see that he is very happy to be able to go on a walk. He's very obedient on leash. He's not pulling, he's not um, barking, he's not running around. He's just very awesome on leash. 
He also loves to go on walks. Like I said, he's a lower energy puppy and so he doesn't necessarily need a lot of exercise to keep him happy and balanced, but he also does love to go on walks and he's very easy to take on walks. And here you can see he passed another dog. He's not afraid of the larger dogs. He does have dogs in his training home of different sizes. And so larger dogs, smaller dogs do not phase him. He's obviously really well behaved as he's passing these other dogs. And so that's one thing that is really hard for many dogs, but also younger dogs and puppies. And here he's getting a little face-to-face -face time with a new dog. You can see that the dog that he is meeting is also calm, which also helps. We always have people that ask us, clients ask us how to introduce our dog to another dog. And I always tell them it's important to look and see what the other dog's behavior is when they meet new dogs. So if the other dog is overly excited, um, probably not a safe thing for these smaller dogs to be able to meet uh, a larger or overly excited dog. Um, just because you don't know, but you can see that Finn handles all of it very well. Here he's got a new kiddo that is meeting him and petting him. You can see his personality is showing through his mellow temperament. He's just happy to be given attention and loved on, and he's very sweet. He's not jumping, he's not barking, he's not being excited. So once again, wonderful, wonderful character traits for this puppy, and Finn is just a super, super sweet boy. Now this is just a quick sneak peek inside one of Finn's training homes. He actually spends his time in between two training homes. He is very respectful of boundaries in the house. So you, you can see him basically coming home from the store. He's excited to see his friends and companions, human and canine. And you can see that he is used to a little bit of play and interaction from these bigger dogs. It doesn't phase him. He's used to being held and carried and uh, played with small children. So small children don't phase him. He just goes with the flow all the time with whatever situation is presented to him. Now, even though Finn is a really laid back dog, you can see he doesn't mind kind of getting in there a little bit rough and tumble with these bigger dogs. You can see that they do like to play. And so that's one thing he is really good at is kind of matching the personalities of the dogs that he's around and kind of meeting on their level as far as energy and play goes. But overall, he is a really laid back boy. All right, so Finn is heading over to his second training home. Now, we have two of our trainers that live right next to each other, so they work together. And the great part about this situation that Finn is in with these two training homes is he is easily able to adapt to new situations. So he's been around 
lots of different people and he's able to identify specifically with a variety of family members. So he's able to quickly adapt to new situations just because of his training situation that he has been in. You can see here is basically his second family. He's got some other kiddos in the family, another larger dog that he loves to play with. This is Uncle Leo. And you can see that he seamlessly integrates into the second home. Now this is literally the same day um, going from one home to the other home. And you can see that he is happy to see both of his families and be around different people. Now, on top of his uh, families that he works with, there is also a lot of visitors that come into the home and Finn easily accepts all of the new people that come into the home. And like I said, he is able to accept new dogs. So the amount of balance that Finn has is really outstanding. He's, he's just an amazing puppy. I can't say that enough. I know I've said it several times in this video, but he's just really awesome. And we don't always get dogs that have this type of balance in combination with the amount of training that he has had. It's just a fantastic combination of all of these different factors. So Finn will make an amazing family companion. We've also talked about the possibility of him being a service or therapy companion. He has the right temperament for that. So that's something that he is able to adapt to a variety of situations or homes. And he just has just that great balance that we don't always see in our puppies. And especially um, when our puppies are younger, we don't get to see them mature into this um, phase. And so with Finn, he's already in this older phase. He's already been neutered. He's had all of his vet stuff taken care of. He's really ready to integrate into a new home. And he is just a wonderful, sweet boy. Now, another thing that I wanna note is that all of this video was shot in the course of a day. And so you can see that even at the end of all of these different activities that Finn did, he's still ready to go, he's still happy, he's still um, excited to be with his family. And that just shows, once again, the, the amazing temperament that this puppy has. If you are interested in a puppy like Finn, um, a trained puppy through our program, you can contact us through our website. We have lots of different options and some very wonderful puppies like Finn available through our training program. So be sure to contact us early if you're interested in a puppy. You can contact us through our website at www.snakerivercanine.com. Now, since we work with puppies full time, we found some really awesome training aids, treats, food, and other dog products that we absolutely love. If you're interested in finding out what those products are, you can check out the links in the description for more information on our favorite dog products. For more information on our unique and amazing puppy training program, or to see our current and available puppies in training, please visit our website at www.snakerivercanine.com.